Hi everyone and welcome to this week's News Letter Tip. Um, I hope you've had a fantastic week and you've all managed to get out and enjoy this fabulous weather that we've got at the moment. Um, I'm outdoors today on the 14th hole um, and I thought I'd bring you a little chipping tip. Now, uh, with the golf course getting much kind of firmer and faster, um, certainly you know the last week here at the club, what we've started to find is your chip shots probably aren't holding the green. Um, quite a lot of people are complaining that you know, they're hitting their normal chips onto the green and the ball just rolling and rolling and rolling. And um, I played on Sunday in the Dunham Forest match, and if I'm honest, um, I probably got much the same thing. Um, I think where we've all got used to sort of chipping off kind of winter mats through the winter months, you know, with the greens being much, much softer, we've probably all been hitting the ball a little bit shallow, you know, getting too much height, and because of the soft ground conditions, the ball's been stopping really quickly. Now, if you, if you kind of fast forward to where we are now, with the ground much, much, much firmer, you know, those kind of, I suppose, almost sort of lazy shots, they aren't stopping. You know, there's not enough spin on the ball to actually kind of make the ball grab and stop in, in these firm ground conditions. So, uh, as you said, I wanted to bring you a really, really simple tip today uh, with the help of a glove packet, as you can see here. So, this is one of the new tailor-made gloves that we've just got in stock. Um, so, if I put this one on, um, it's basically the same as the FootJoy Pure Touch or Stay Soft. So, it's there, oh, it's there to a glove, I guess you could say. Um, so it's, it's their finished leather glove they make. So for those of you that like me that don't like all weather gloves and you don't like the feel of them, um, I definitely give this one a go. Um, also um, today, I'm fortunate enough to be using the new tailor-made, if you can see that, high toe wedge. Um, just come in, uh, so this is my personal one, and you can see it's, it's a little bit different to most wedges on the market where there's grooves that actually extend all the way over the face. Now, what's the benefit you might ask? Well. Actually, weirdly enough, um, I found out the benefit when I was at the Belfry on Monday um, for a training course. And one of the guest speakers there was actually talking about um, how contact point with wedges actually doesn't affect the spin. So the benefit of having grooves all over the face is I should be able to get roughly the same amount of spin from a, a toed or a heeled shot as I would do from the centre. Um, he tested pretty much, I think, the, the, the best five short game players in the world. And the difference between different contacts was only sort of 200 revolutions, which for me and you is, is absolutely nothing. So uh, let me show you what I mean. So what we want you to do is just place the glove pack on the ground, uh, directly behind the ball, uh, trying to keep, well, let's get that one out of the way of the camera, trying to keep roughly a club head width gap, as you can see there. Now, a couple of things really, I suppose, that would be different uh, to previous tips I've given you is, is setup. So, to try and help you kind of hit down on these chips a little bit more to ensure cleaner contact, to try and let the grooves do their job. I would probably play the ball, you know, just slightly right of centre. Uh, feet, you know, a comfortable distance apart. Again, we always recommend having your left foot slightly turned out to try and assist with that follow through. And then from there, when we set up to it, again, always make sure that you've got a little bit more weight favouring that left leg, you know, 60, maybe even 70%. And what's very important here, everyone, is make sure you've got those hands slightly ahead, okay? Because getting your hands ahead, it helps sort of deal off the club a little bit, which you might think actually is kind of almost counterintuitive, but it does the opposite. That if we hit down on it with the hands ahead, it actually helps the grooves of the club do their work, and the ball will go in a little bit lower, but with more spin on it. So, as you said, I want to set up to it something like this. Now, the idea of the glove packet is when I swing, I should be able to come down, and as you can see there, hit the grass, without touching that glove packet. So it really proves I've actually hit down into the ball. So if I give one a quick go, here we go, let's just get that in position. Here we go, so you know, ball just sort of right of middle, weight left, hands forward, again, and then from there just try and hit down. There you go. Now you might have heard I just kind of briefly nicked the glove packet there. So let's try another one for you. So what I might want to do different this time again is put even more weight on the left and get my hands even more forward and give it another go. There you go, much cleaner. Now if you just pan out to the actual green, you can see the difference there in the spin. You can see the second one is actually spun much, much more and you can see it's actually finished a lot closer to the flag. So if Brooke comes back, Brooke's our cameraman today, say hi Brooke. There you go, he's just about talking. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, really simple tip everyone, uh, but give it a go next time you go out and play. Uh, enjoy these wonderful conditions, but again, you know, now the course is firm and fast, uh, do try and adjust your approach. Have a good week everyone, and enjoy reading the rest of this week's newsletter. See you later!